Okay, hi everybody. Um, I have a question for us today and it is a very tricky question in my opinion from the decision making subsection. I had someone send this in to me asking about it and I was like, it's going to be way easier to just make a video rather than try and type this all out because it is very complicated. As you can see, I've already done it up here just to make sure I do it right for you guys. And I'm going to be referring back to this diagram just to make sure that I get it 100% right. But let's get started. So the metro in the city centre includes six stations within walking distance of the city hall. The six stations, all are named below, are on two different metro lines that intersect at a single station, which is the only station of these six which allows an interchange. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw something called an arbitrary diagram. And you might have heard of these in maths before, but basically a lot of these sorts of questions, it actually doesn't matter what your diagram looks like because everything is given relative to one another. Nowhere does it say north, east, south, west, no directions or coordinates or anything like that is given. So everything is relative to each other. So it really doesn't matter what we draw our diagram to look out, look like. So these here are my two different metro lines and I'm going to color code them the same as I have up when I practiced this, just to not mess it up, which were pink and blue. And I will highlight the stations as I figure it out in those colors, just so you can visually see what I'm looking at. Unfortunately, we can't do that in the real UCAT, but I think for teaching purposes, this should be okay. And I'm also just going to put City Hall CH up in like this corner up here. Um, when I first saw this, I got a little bit confused because I thought City Hall was a station, but it's not. There are six stations within walking distance. So this is what my metro system looks like. And let's see what we can do from here. And we have one station in the middle, right? This one here, which allows an interchange. It's the only one. We don't know what that is yet though, so we're going to have to figure that out. This first statement here says you cannot travel from Rubicon to Northcote or Silver Street without changing at another station. So there are lots of different things that we get from this statement alone. But first, why don't we have a look at our answer options? So the question actually is which journey would pass through the greatest number of the six stations? And all of these include a interchange station and they only include Silver Street or Queensgate so immediately we know that our interchange is going to be one of those two because th those are the ones that answer gives we can't have a different one because it's not going to be correct and so it's only going to be Silver Street or Queensgate so let's keep that in mind as we continue to read this statement you can't travel from Rubicon to Northcote or Silver Street without changing at another station. So the keyword here is another. So a station that is not one of these three, which means the interchange station must be Queensgate because it can't be Silver Street. That means we are very lucky and we can immediately cross out A and B as the answer options. So now we only have C and D. If you've gone to this point and you're completely lost and you feel like you don't have enough time, We've narrowed it down to a 50-50 chance. So picking one of them is going to be right. Well, picking yeah, picking one of the two is obviously going to be right, but you have a much better chance eliminating those two answer options. But today we're going to go all the way and we know it's, it's going to be Queensgate. So I'm going to put a Q here at the middle. So I know that that middle interchange is at Queensgate. It doesn't really matter what line you consider that to be on. But we're not done with this first statement here. You can't travel from Rubicon to Northcote or Silver Street. So that means without changing. So to get from Rubicon to Northcote, you must change. That means they're on different metro lines. Same with Silver Street. So I'm going to highlight Rubicon as pink, and I'm just going to put it on the pink line. Again, it doesn't matter what line you put it on, as long because it's all relative to each other. If I decide to put it on the blue line, that's cool. But we're going to put it on the pink line for now. And that means that Northcote and Silver Street are both on the blue line. So I'm going to highlight those in blue. Now, I don't really know where they are yet, so I'm not going to write them on my diagram because then I'd just be guessing and we don't want to do that. So let's keep looking at the clues this has given us. From Pooley Park, you can change to another metro line and then head in one direction to Northcote. And we already know that's blue, so I'm going to highlight that in blue there. And that is the nearest station in that direction. Or you can head in the other direction to Oak Cliff. And that is after, again, that you've changed lines. So we're going to also highlight Oak Cliff in blue. Let's go to the next statement. And we need to know that Pawley Park is going to be on the pink line because it's a different metro line to Northcote. And our only options here are blue and pink. So if Northcote is blue, then Pawley Park must be pink.
So we've figured out one, two, three, four, five of our stations, and then Queensgate is just in the middle. So we know what every line, like, like every station, we know which line it's on. So that's the first part of it. Now we need to figure out where these stations actually lie, and that's where it gets a little bit trickier. On one metro line, the nearest station to Queensgate in one direction is Rubicon. The nearest station to the to Queensgate in the other direction is on that same line is not one of the six stations nearest to the city hall. So it's not one of the ones mentioned in this. So we might put a dot there, but we can't label it. But that actually gives us a massive, massive clue. So the nearest station in one direction is Rubicon and the other one is not near the city hall. So I'm gonna put Rubicon here, which is closer to the city hall if I put like a dot there. So this dot on the line that's sort of in the second quadrant there, that is our nearest station that is not one of the six stations. So we can't label it. And it says that the nearest station to Queensgate is Rubicon. And there is another pink station and that is Pawley Park. But where does Pawley Park fall here? If the nearest one in the other direction isn't within walking step, um, walking distance to the city hall, we can't keep going in that direction. So Pawley Park can't be where I have scribbled green, which means Pawley Park actually must be up here, further away than Queensgate, but Rubicon will be between Queensgate and Pawley Park. So I'm going to put PP up here for Pawley Park. Okay, we've figured out three of our stations where they are pretty happy we've got another three we need to do but the second paragraph here sort of tells us how to do that so it says from Pawley Park you can change to another metro line and head one direction to Northcote the nearest station in that direction so I'm going to put N here for Northcote that's the nearest station then it says the other direction to Oak Cliff the only station in that direction. So I'll just put Oak Cliff at any point on that line because it doesn't matter. Oak, Oak Cliff is the only um, station sort of in that third quadrant down there. But then we have one left, Silver Street. And we know that it's blue, we figured that out. And it can't be along here because Oak Cliff is the only station in that direction. So we know it must be on the same segment as, as Northcote. But it says that Northcote is the nearest station in that direction, which means that Silver Street must be further away. So we're going to put Silver Street up here. Doesn't matter the actual distance as long as it's further away from Queensgate than Northcote is. And this is what we end up getting as our diagram. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see a bit better. Okay, I've put it up here and we've also got our city hall up there. It doesn't really matter where city hall is. And this is our diagram. The hardest part of this question is by far getting the diagram. But if you can get that, it is super duper easy. So let's um, do a quick count. Which one has the greatest number of the six stations? Instead of finding all the combinations, let's just check the two answers that have given us. Rubicon to Silver Street. That is one, two, three, four stations. Okay, so we'll write a four there. And then the other one is Silver Street to Pawley Park. So we'd go one, two, three, four, five. So that gives us five stations on that thing. So that gives D as our answer. And then that is actually... Um, shown here so this is from some online program i don't know which and it does confirm that that is the correct answer ironically enough out of the four answers that was the one that was chosen the least which tells me majority of people had no idea what they were doing in this question now some quick tips i've shown you how to do this but i do want to say a couple of things first first of all this is going to be worth one mark it's going to waste a lot of your time so what i would personally recommend if you're even if you're on time, what I would do is I would figure out the first part where we can eliminate A and B, which really not much information at all. We don't need to look too much into that. I would eliminate A and B and then randomly choose between C and D because then you have a 50-50 shot. And then I'd flag it and then come back to it at the end and then do the whole diagram thing. You have no idea how long this is going to take. It's taken me 10 minutes to explain this video, like explain this question to you guys. Obviously, you won't be talking it out and writing it out as you do it, but that just shows you how tricky this question is. So I do think that it is in, important to consider this one, maybe to skip it and come back at the end. But if you can get 
If you can narrow it down to C and D, you have a really good shot. And based on the popularity meters here, you um, just by getting C and D, just by narrowing it down, you've already um, surpassed more than half of the candidates. You've already done better than half of the candidates who attempted this question. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to note here. Um, oh yeah, it'd probably be a little bit harder in the real UCAT just because you don't have all these colors. So that is another concern of mine. This diagram is going to be very hard to do without a whole lot of colors and without being able to highlight and underline points in the question. But yeah, other than that, I don't actually have much to say. This would fall under logical puzzles in decision making. But yeah, if anyone else has any questions they want me to explain, anything like that, please just send them through to me and I can make a video on this. If something didn't make sense, just put it down in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you out.